Welcome to the 2024 Sinkfield Cup recap. Today we are gonna take a look into round one, which was very eventful and interesting. Let's take a look at the results first. It has been an eventful day and we cannot wait to share the highlights of today with you. Our first highlight of the day is the game between Ding Lorin, who is the current world champion, against Gukesh, who is the current challenger, and their match is set to be in Singapore in 99 days. This game was huge and everyone was looking forward to see what they can come up with. In this position, Gukesh played d4, which was a mistake because of queen h6, and then of course the world champion played this move, and Gukesh is only move to protect is g6, and after that, world champion had a great move, rook e1, with the idea to play rook e4 and rook h4 to try to checkmate his opponent. Logical continuation here is bishop f5 to protect e4 square and after that Ding Lerin could play rook f3 with the idea rook h4, uh, rook f4 and rook h4 or rook takes f5 that would put Gukesh under huge pressure and maybe it would give uh, Ding Lerin decisive advantage. However, Ding Lerin chose to play bishop d3 which was slow compared to rook e1 and Gukesh used his chance to escape for a draw after c4, bishop e4 and d3. The pawn on d3 is very strong, that's why the world champion decided to take on g6 and force a draw. Our next highlight is the game of the day, which was between Fabiana Caruana and Alreza Ferruja. Ferruja here played king d8 last move, which was a mistake, which gave a huge advantage for Fabiana Caruana if he played rook c2, protecting uh, f2 pawn at the same time, avoiding rook d5 and rook c4 ideas. Now he's threatening to take on f6 and f7, uh, which uh, gives him a decisive advantage. However, Fabiana decided to take on f7, which still keeps the advantage, but he should be more precise. After black played king c7, he should, he should and could still play rook c2 and protect f2 pawn. Now he's still uh, keeping uh, black under pressure. However, Fabiana decided to play queen, queen g8 with an idea to play queen a8 next. And black tech on uh, f2. Now, white cannot tech with the rook because, uh, because of the pin. That's why Fabiana play, continued his idea and played queen a8, which was another mistake because Fabiana thought he, uh, he cannot tech on f7 due to uh, queen a7 ideas. However, Alireza still played queen f7 and after rook b4, unexpected c takes b4 and bishop is protecting a7 square. There's no queen a7 or even queen, f5, queen a5 check because of bishop b6 and black is winning. That's why Fabiana was forced to take on f2 and after queen d7, his position is worse and Alireza... Uh, played very strong in the end and uh, forced Fabiana to resign. Our third highlight is gonna be a very interesting game uh, between two young players, which is Pragnananha and Noderbeg. In this position, Noderbeg's last move was queen a5, attacking a2 pawn. However, Pragnananha could play h5, a strong move, threatening to take, take on g6 and opening up the rook and attacking the king. He has uh, great bishops on d3, on e3 and queen is here to attack also the rook. That's why he had to understand he has limited time and play h5 and give up very important pawn on a2, which is very hard to do as a player when you you don't really see a clear move to continue uh, your attack for example after queen a2 king c1 queen 
could go back to a5. Then white had to take on h takes g, f takes g and move the queen. Now queen e5 is not good for black because of bishop g6, a very strong move. And after queen g3, queen bishop h7, check intermediate move, king f7, uh, f takes g. And after king e8, and black is trying to escape with the king, I have a very strong move bishop h6 and my rooks are strong and the king is naked in the center that would give uh, Pragnananha very good chances to win the game however he decided to play a3 instead which gave black uh, some time to consolidate his um, pieces and uh, after queen d5 the game ended in a draw we had a lot of exciting action in today's games. Today's round was wonderful. We couldn't ask for a better start of the tournament. However, we are excited to see who is playing tomorrow against whom. Let's see the pairings for tomorrow. Wesley saw against Fabiana Caruana. Two Americans are going to face each other and it's going to be a great matchup for sure. Maxim Vacher Lagraf is playing against Pragnananta, young generation against older one, while Gukesh is playing young Nepomnishi. These two matches are very similar, younger generation against more experienced players. It will be an exciting matchup while Anish Kuri is taking the world champion Ding Liren. Abdusatar of Naderbek is playing Areza Feruza, two rising stars. We have very exciting matchups tomorrow. Let us know in the comments which one you are looking forward to follow. Also, make sure to turn into our live broadcast and enjoy all the action. I'll see you tomorrow.